This beautiful island is from Linda Kelly, and it was given to me for free, but it's rather dark, and so I want to show you by going up to World, Region Settings, how the actual terrain is determined. And, whoops, let me go to Ground Textures. If you notice, the colors here are rather dark. You have four quadrants for your island, and you can set each with different heights at which the colors start mixing. So it was so dark that I already put a lighter color up here. But let me come over to this one and find a texture that's actually lighter. I think I'll go to the Open Sim Library and their textures and I'll scroll down until I find one that is lighter. I think they have some textures here for terrain. Let's put, let's see what rock looks like. Um, it's probably not what I'm going to want to keep, but let me hmm, put it here for the time being. So I'm going to turn that one to rock, and I will bring this up so that I can select it. And I will now close this out. Let me see if you can see it here. Okay, now I brought it up and I can apply that. So you'll see that right now this may not be what the author really wanted for this particular space, but you can see it's now lighter and I can see what was here before it was so dark I couldn't see all these features. You can have different texture colors for each one of the four elevations and then at each region you determine at what height the different texture will actually be in effect. So since your region is likely to have different elevations, you'll get a different look at each section. It can take some practice, so experiment and have fun if you have the rights to do this on the island that you're using.